Hello and welcome to the roof of my condo in Thailand. Over there are some mountains. Over there is the Gulf of Thailand. Focus. But today we're here to ask the question, what is that? That is the new section of high-speed rail that's going through my town of Hua Hin. And below it, you can see the existing single-track train line that goes from Bangkok all the way to the border with Malaysia and is a major roadblock to effective travel in this country. So there's an overarching plan that's been in process for years, on again, off again, to have dual tracks on the ground so you can have one going north, one going south so passenger trains and freight trains can go through without any trouble. And then they've also added a high-speed rail line because the schedule to get from my town to Bangkok right now scheduled for about four hours. It averages about five. I've had it as worse as six or seven depending on what's going on on the train line. This is supposed to get me to Bangkok in two hours, which is fantastic. It would make life so much more convenient just to pop up for the day. You can see the, the line is elevated, and that's because Thai people have a wonderful habit of driving on the, the level line of the track, driving in front of the train, and just getting just vaporized by a train coming through. So at the speeds that these trains are going to be going, they need to be elevated so there is no risk of hitting anything on the ground. Now, it's all great for me to have a convenient way to get to Bangkok, but we have to look at the bigger picture. The, the entire region, all the way from China to Singapore, is looking at this high-speed rail project as a way to move people and goods uh, faster, better, cheaper around the region. And the Thai part of the system is quite extensive from the Chinese border to Bangkok, to the south, to all the way to Singapore, and then also to the east uh, around the other side of the Gulf of Thailand. The Thai part of the project is largely financed by the Chinese government or Chinese businesses that have a heavy hand of the government in them, largely engineered uh, and overseen by the Chinese with Thai labor and materials. And I suppose eventually Chinese high-speed trains as we see in these lovely pictures. Now, Thailand has been planning uh, a complete upgrade to the rail service for years and years, uh, leading to the now completed Bangsu train station, which is in the, the northwest corner of Bangkok. It's the largest train station in Asia and potentially the world. And it's good for me because uh, the old central train station, Hua Lam Phong, used to be located right in the downtown heart of the city. And the problem was coming in on the train, we had to literally go through traffic in Bangkok. We had to wait for traffic lights. We had to wait for tuk-tuks and people walking. And, and just chug through the city at about five miles an hour for the last few kilometers to get to the station. But coming uh, from Hua Hin into Bangsu is a high-speed trip the whole way. I get off the train, I walk um, out of the turnstile, and I jump straight into the Bangkok metropolitan subway system. So I'm happy to be a small cog in a very long, multi-generational rail upgrade for the entire Southeast Asia region. So this video is basically an introduction to what I'm hoping will be a monthly drone flyover video uh, showcasing the progress on the train line. Now you can see there's already a tremendous amount of work that's already been done, but I didn't have the drone then and I've been waiting for over a month for my uh, licenses to come back from the government. But now 
I can fly up and down here and kind of do a bit of a uh, historical tribute to the construction and everything that's going on. So I'll sign off for now and I will post the, the first drone flight which I took yesterday. I'll post that right after. I'll make a playlist and you can just uh, watch along as the construction progresses. Hey, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my other content, I'd appreciate a subscribe. Take care and see you next time.